I honestly think I have the best job in the world, at least for me. Um, I get to have Brad Pitt talk to a cow. I get to push Justin Timberlake in the slime. I get to figure out how to make a kid fly up through a roof and explode. So the five to 10 year old me is getting paid to make the stuff I would have watched as a kid. So that is the best part. When I was at UD, I thought I was gonna write for PR or advertising or maybe be an English professor. I was looking into graduate school and I went and saw a movie with a friend and when it was done I said, it'd be fun to make movies and she simply said, you should, you'd be great at it. I remember it this way, the ceiling of the movie theater opened, light shone down and it was, oh! And immediately it was like, why didn't I think of this before? And that moment changed my path completely and I've never looked back. So I went to NYU grad school. Um, after my first year, I wanted to get some practical experience and began working in the independent film industry in any position people would hire me in. And that became my education for about three or four years, just working on all sorts of films and projects in New York. While I was doing these projects for other people, I of course wrote my own script and was trying to get that made. And a lot of people liked it, but I hadn't directed anything besides my student films. So they wanted to see a directing sample. And I love jokes, and I think jokes are perfect little mini movies. So I made six jokes into mini movies, thinking, okay, this is gonna show a wide range. HBO saw them and wanted me to do a bunch of shorts. I ended up doing 24 short films for HBO that were all jokes. So The Sopranos would end, and then this little mini movie would pop up, and you wouldn't know what it was until two minutes in punchline and it would cut up and say an actual joke for HBO. So my career started as a joke, my professional career. <laughs> I've never thought of that before, but yeah. Then I started taking anything that they would let me direct. Like my first series I directed was Blue's Clues, 20 years ago now. And the reason I got that job is I had worked on an independent film as a location manager with a woman who ended up producing Blue's Clues. So that led me into kids television, also led me into green screen, animation, VFX. Um, not planned at all. It was just a job that someone would actually give me a little bit of money to direct. And I had a lot of those, commercials, music videos, working for American Express, Kraft. At one point I was the Kool-Aid man and some Kraft Industrials. Um, anything to get me on set. So right now I am directing five or eight shows for Nickelodeon couple shows for Amazon Kids. I'm doing, right now I'm doing Life in Pieces for CBS. So I jump around each week, I'm working with a different crew, uh, different actors, different stories, which some people find stressful, but I love. You know, the minute uh, I've finished one thing, I'm doing a superhero show, I turn and I'm doing a uh, family comedy. So every week is different, every week is a challenge, every week is fun.